What's up, Pisces Collective? Thank you for joining me for your energy reading for the month. Um, if this is your first time joining me, my name is Kita. If you are returning, welcome back. Thank y'all for the love and support. Um, I have been <clears throat> going through it. <laughs> These energies have not been playing on a personal nor a collective um, level. And so, um, aside from working, vending different events, getting out in the community as I normally do, I've just been trying to move through some things in my personal life um, so that when I do come back to y'all, I am coming from a cup runneth over type of energy because I can't give y'all shit when I'm running on fumes. And so now that I am in a better space, I am able to bring forth the um, monthly zodiac energy readings, and um, I'm gonna start. We're gonna go backwards this time so that those zodiac signs that are on the tail end of the wheel um, don't always have to wait until the end. Um, today, I've actually um, I am taking advantage of the beautiful weather that we are having. Um, outside grounding and just tapping in with Mother Guy and Mother Nature. Something I've been needing to do for a, a good minute. I did an event over the weekend, a three-day event where I was outside each day, but I was not like intentionally in solitude con uh, connecting with the earth and grounding. And so that is my goal for today um did a little bit before i started you guys reading and going to get back to it when i finish so we're gonna see what message spirit has for you all um as a pisces venus <coughs> yeah, some more pisces placements um in my chart whatever comes up i'm pretty sure it's pertinent to my own personal journey oh lord i ain't even asked for spirit to bring forth the best message for our highest good and as you can see these cars are flying out so we gonna see what message wants to come for <sighs> clear and um see if we can get y'all some advice or some guidance so father god mother earth ancestors and spirit guys i come to you at this moment humbled grateful present asking that you bring for the best message for the highest good of the Pisces collective um, at this time what message needs to come from my lips to reach their hearts be use me as a vessel of your love and light with gratitude thank you in advance so it is oh lord I don't want all that. <laughs> Spirit, bring forth the message with fewer cards, please. Okay. We're working on our sacral chakra, our capacity, our ability to be intimate, um, to have intimate conversation, to be in intimate space, to create intimate space, our sexuality, our creativity, our passion. Um, the sacral chakra being um, represented by the color um, orange. Um, definitely needing to, I know I personally have been working on my lower chakras at this time. So, been working on my root chakra, sacral chakra, and, um, and my solar plexus. Y'all, I wish I could see how I got this damn iPad rigged up. And, um... Uh, <laughs> So it might fall and I have to put it back up because it's a little breezy. But yeah, working on that um, sacred chakra, working with the color orange, uh, possibly working with carnelian crystal, uh, orange calcite, eating orange foods, working with frequencies that align with the sacred chakra. Uh, for a lot of us, we are tapping into our um, inner child wounding that may be what has uh, blocked 
our capacity to um, commit to intimacy, to be comfortable um, in intimacy. And a lot of us are being called out of our comfort zones when it comes to our sexual, creative, and, um, and sexual and creative energy and being um, being intimate, being vulnerable. That is also um, a part of being intimate and uh, an aspect of your sacral chakra. So let's see what message is at the top of the deck. Man holding a coin. So I'm either speaking about a masculine energy who is focused on um, earthly matters, his finances. Uh, this could actually be a feminine who is uh, approaching financial abundance, prosperity, wealth, how she get the bag from a masculine, uh, more masculine perspective or energy. But the man holding a coin, especially in the upright, is one who is a provider. Um, he's generous. He doesn't mind buying gifts and paying for trips and, and paying for dates. You know what I'm saying? Because he's he got it. And so for many of you, you may be um, using your creative and sexual gifts in order to um, in order to pursue profit in some way or are focused on uh, your money in some way from a, per a masculine perspective or this is a masculine who possibly an entrepreneur or focused on entrepreneurship or uh, focused on career goals focused on balancing some accounts that's man holding a coin energy with this guy here with his little white blouse on come on mr spider um and holding this coin in this field of what looks like lavender and i've never paid attention to that in this card before so he got a real cool calm collected demeanor about himself and he got this coin that he's holding on to but he ain't holding on to it tight because he don't mind sharing it um so we got that energy at the top of the deck lavender being an energy of peace calm uh working with the third eye following your intuition um or working with your intuition and door to value so that's a lot of grounding energy here uh, with this door here busting open with money flying everywhere gold coins that's like hitting hitting the jackpot you know what i'm saying like having the the code or the keys to the to the safe and something uh having increased this might have been a bad idea because i can't do these damn bugs <laughs> uh, <laughs> um increased value and so what this is telling me here is you have a, a masculine energy here who as a result of a uh, sacral chakra activation the capacity to uh, build in that capacity to be more intimate tapping into your sexual energy possibly even working on some sexual trauma breaking some soul ties some sexual bonds that you've had in the past or whatever but that uh, increase in sacral chakra health um, that increase in creativity is creating a shift from focus, focusing on your coin and possibly wanting to have somebody to share it with or um, to spend it on to seeing value in something and therefore hitting the jackpot. The door to value is abundance and that can very much speak to increased um, confidence and worth as well because the man holding the coin presents himself in the world as someone who has uh, a healthy um a healthy level of uh of confidence um but sometimes especially when the shadow comes into play or when that miss that card is in reverse you have someone who focuses on the bags in order to distract themselves from um their own self-worth issues and wanting to put on this facade, facade and present themselves to the world as somebody who has it all together and has these material creature comforts. Uh, meanwhile, they don't think much of themselves. They have low self-esteem and low confidence. But with the sacral chakra um, represented here by the energy of Archangel Uriel with this woman 
who's holding this um, sphere of light. This is an angel. Um, holding that sphere of light, representing that passion and creativity. There's some um, increase in our sacral chakra health that is assisting us along the journey and um it's speaking to some masculine masculine energy that's going through the door to value honey he got one coin at the top of the deck but then by the time he opened this door to value uh going after creatively sexually passionately uh what he desires honey he done hit the jackpot got more than one coin got all the all the coins unlimited supply abundance so we're gonna clarify this with the cosmic reading cards and at the bottom of the deck underneath um door to value was the root chakra archangel michael helping this masculine energy cut cords um to things that have kept him from that door to value, seeing his worth, knowing that he's worthy of abundance and and um, then investing in things that are of more like long term uh, value, be it financial or otherwise, you know what I'm saying? Like there are things from our past, our past traumas that keep us stagnant energetically, subconsciously, shit that we don't even like consciously know about. But with this message, that shit coming to the forefront to be healed and it's grounding. It's showing up in our 3D reality. So Spirit, please clarify this message for the Pisces collective at this time. They keep wanting to give me like a whole bunch of cards at one time. So y'all got a lot going on and I'm literally seeing a yellow butterfly. So there's that energy of the uh, solar plexus. I said working on those lower chakras, the root chakra, the sacral chakra, and the uh, solar plexus because there's a transformation taking place. Butterflies represent um, transformation. When I see butterflies, I'm always reminded of the presence of Oshun energy, which is a very confident, divine, feminine um, energy that represents sensuality, sexuality, entrepreneurship, um, love, fearless love. So what fell out here clarifying this message, and did I say she represent confidence? Yeah, I think I see it there. Yeah, having that confidence to step boldly into an awakening with awaken with the number one card. There's a new beginning um, as a result of a spiritual awakening taking place with this um, this man holding a coin where he may have once been focused on the bag, well, focused on creature comforts, focused on financial things in order to um, present himself as someone who has uh, a certain level of self-worth and societal, um, what do they call that? that he fits in uh, uh, at a certain level of the class system and things of that nature. But now as a result of going through an awakening, um, actually like hitting the mother low, hitting the jackpot. So many of you may be seeing the number 777 a lot uh, with what really is valuable. You know what I'm saying? What's really worthwhile. And that includes financial abundance. So I love this for y'all. So we got awakening and you're awakening to your self-worth. I told you that masculine energy, that of the um the energy of um the man holding a coin speaks to not only like financial abundance, entrepreneurship, preacher comforts, but also worth. How do you value yourself? You know what I'm saying? If you don't think shit of yourself, but you got a million dollars in the bank. You ain't gonna keep that long because <laughs> you're gonna make decisions that self-sabotage whatever you got of value in your life so it starts with self-worth which is represented by the number 27 which breaks down to a nine because we close the out cycle so we literally talk about endings and beginnings um beginnings uh referencing this this awakening that this masculine energy is experiencing but um endings 
as it relates to the uh, dis-ease of um, his self-worth, stepping into a more confident version of self. Moving forward with the number 23, breaking down to a five, and then moving forward may cause some conflict and chaos. Getting to that door of value, finally deciding to, uh, or seeing, coming into an awareness of that door of value and that it's wide open. You have the key. All you need is an abundance con consciousness, that belief that you are an heir of uh, God's lavish abundance and that you are deserving of um, all that God has in store for you, everything that the locust has stolen, um, is creating movement forward in a positive direction, but everybody ain't going to like it. So that five represents change. You may be seeing 555 or 515 a lot. I know I've been seeing 454 and 545 a lot here lately. But that uh, represents stability, security, and how that is changing, how we, are, how we view it changing, and how we move towards it or in it is changing. So we have some movement taking place here, some progress taking place along the journey of the awakening journey of self-worth represented by the number four believe that's um that um sacral chakra energy contributing to your capacity to believe that you are worthy of everything that god has in store for you to believe that you are worthy of your heart's desires your passions fueling your belief in your 3d um your belief uh, behind what you want, what you desire, what you long for, what you deserve, and then that changing how things look and how you move in your 3D reality. And the number 34, unconditional love. Moving from that materialistic, um, dominantly materialistic energy into a more unconditionally loving version of self toward self and toward others um a more confident and unconditionally loving version of self this is dope so at the bottom of the deck face down we have number 28 that awakening has that you all have uh, been experienced and has shown you your shadows has shown you where you've had yourself fucked up <laughs> where your experiences have made a long lasting impression on you and some of it ain't even in this lifetime there are things from um our life to our past lifetimes that we've been discovering through uh exploration of the akashic records through our dreams and meditations signs and synchronicities and experiences that we've been having in the physical have been showing us uh, where these different experiences throughout lifetime have shown us our um, shadow so <clears throat> you have the shadow self you have where you've been you had been showing up previously in as your shadow self as your lower vibrational self who didn't know no better or who knew better but didn't know how to do better or didn't have the strength or the courage to do better i bet you i changed this down format for the next reading because <laughs> I ain't got time to be constantly trying to catch this thing. But yeah, no longer showing up as your shadow, shadow self and showing up as a more emotionally expressive version of yourself. And a more emotionally mature and vulnerable and intelligent version of yourself. So if this message resonates with you, shout out to y'all for doing the work to emotionally um, mature, to dive into those waters and explore um, those things that you have suppressed for so long so that they can come up and be healed and be acknowledged and be integrated and you got a lot of blue energy in this card so uh, don't be surprised if either from you if you resonate with this reading or from someone else some emotional throat chakra expression is coming forth here so you literally got you got all the chakras pretty much uh, being represented here um which tells me you guys have been doing some work to align your chakras to get in balance. And I love that for y'all. So I hope the message found you well, Pisces. If it did not find you well, I hope that something was said that leaves you well, that gave you some more clarity about the energy that you're currently experiencing or that you are going to be experiencing. So you may want to circle back to the reading in the next few weeks or months 
and it may resonate with you more than it does now but with that being said if you are interested in a personal reading feel free to hit me at um, turquoisemajesty at gmail.com i also have a event coming up co-creating um, manifesting through meditation and liberated movement me and my sis stacy sensei stacy with um um taboo twist yoga are going to be facilitating this um experience where i'll be facilitating the uh, the meditation and manifestation practice and she's going to be facilitating the liberated movement i absolutely love sis's teachings and that's why i tapped her to uh, co-create with me and I think you all will as well so if you're local in the Memphis area check out the community board for the flyer and the information um, the early bird ticket uh, admission price uh, just expired I think a few days ago a day ago or so uh, but it's still you are still gonna be getting a lot of bang for your book so um, if you're able to attend, we would love to have you. And with that being said, y'all, until next time, peace.